Today, I'm going to be explaining to you guys the mystery of the missing Denka Jester Classic and how, because of what Rockstar did today, they've basically confirmed their plans, what they're going to be doing with this vehicle. So you guys have probably been hearing me talk about this car over the past couple of weeks and really since the start of the Southern San Andreas Super Sport Series update because this is one of the most highly anticipated vehicles and we found out on day one that it was going to be a drip feed vehicle. And then on day two of the update, we sort of found out its pricing. By day three, we found out when it was supposed to come out based off of its position on the in-game website, the Legendary Motorsports site. And we saw that it was located at the very end, which meant this vehicle, this drip feed car, was going to be coming out at the very last possible part of the update. You guys can see here, once again, it's featured on the Legendary Motorsports site. For $790,000, it's a two-seater sports classic car, the Dinka Jester Classic. All the other vehicles from this update have come out except for this one. What has happened? Well, about a month ago, this vehicle was actually scheduled to release with two other vehicles, the Rune Chebirek and the Lampadati Michelli GT. Those vehicles can be found on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. However, based off of some in-game text that can be found, we know that the Dinka Jester Classic was supposed to come out with those two vehicles. But at the very last moment, Rockstar decided that that was not going to happen. So why is this the case? Why is the Dinka Jester Classic not here? Well, I think today, Rockstar pretty much confirmed what they're going to be doing with this vehicle. So for the longest time, I thought one of two things was going to happen. Number one, Rockstar was using the Dinka Jester Classic to extend the drip feeding. Uh, we had heard reports that the next DLC was going to get delayed, and maybe this was Rockstar's way of holding back one final highly anticipated car uh, to extend the drip feed a little bit longer. However, what Rockstar has done over the last couple of weeks, and essentially what they've done today, confirms that's not the case. Because if that was the case, Rockstar would have added the Dinka Jester Classic by now. Instead, what they've been doing is adding new content to the game instead. The Martin Madrazo Dispatch Services, the new Weenie Issy Classic Races, all of these are instances of Rockstar adding new content into the game when they've had the Dinka Jester Classic sitting right in front of them. So it's pretty clear that Rockstar is likely not going to release the Dinka Jester Classic in the Southern San Andreas Super Sport Series DLC. And here's why. In case you guys don't know, this vehicle has a lot of bugs and a lot of things that are wrong with it. Now, for the most part, everyone is critical of some parts of the cars that Rockstar add. Maybe they don't like the stock rims. Maybe they don't like how the paint scheme works. Uh, but those are all sort of subjective opinions about the car. The Dinka Jester Classic has things that are objectively wrong with it. So number one, it has the same handling flag issue that all the other vehicles have. That's just clear, meaning it would be much slower and perform much worse than if Rockstar didn't have that. Number two, there's a lot of things wrong with the vehicle. Uh, for instance, there's a missing piece of glass on the front right headlight. That obviously just doesn't make sense. On the inside, if you change some of the paint job options, you're actually going to change like the knobs and dials and air vents and stuff like that on the inside. It just really looks ridiculous. And overall, this is where you can kind of get subjectively into this. Uh, this vehicle was really received pretty poorly by the community. So in case it wasn't obvious enough, the Dinka Jester Classic is based off of the Toyota Supra, which is one of the most fan requested vehicles we've had in the game for a long time. Uh, it's a vehicle that's been featured in movies and films and TV shows and references and pop culture. So Rockstar knows that a lot of people would be critical of this vehicle to begin with. And they didn't seem to do a great job with a really the overall structure of the vehicle. A lot of people have issues with the fact it's in the Sports Classic. A lot of people have issues with the fact it's made by Denka instead of Karen. That it doesn't have unique spoiler options. That it has very limited customization that you can do to the car. That it has no liveries, etc. And I'm sure Rockstar heard this and obviously there's nothing they could do about it unless they do what I think they're going to do. And that's holding it back to another DLC. So now here's what I wanna talk about. Here's what Rockstar is going to do with the Dinka Jester Classic going forward. They are going to save this vehicle for another update. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the very next update in Grand Theft Auto Online or if it will be an update later down the road 
or if it will be scrapped altogether. That's another possibility, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to see this vehicle in another update where Rockstar is going to fix the bug issues that are attached to this vehicle, probably the handling flags, the missing pieces of glass, the things on the interior that were bugged. And I'm assuming, because they have the opportunity to, they're going to add a new model into the game, which will give us greater customization, liveries, uh, better mods that we can do to the vehicle, etc. So because of that, I don't think we're going to see any more vehicles from the Southern San Andreas Super Sports update. I think the drip feed for new cars is going to be done and over with. And this would be the first time that Rockstar has done this in Grand Theft Auto Online, intentionally and purposely not releasing a drip feed vehicle. Now, here's why I think Rockstar can get away with this. Now, I'm sure a lot of people watching this video and that are more in tune with the Grand Theft Auto Online community know all about the Dinka Jester Classic. Well, technically, this vehicle doesn't exist. Obviously, because we're able to look into the in-game files, we can see that the Jester Classic is there, but to the average person that might not watch YouTube videos or might not be greatly in tune with the community and might only get information from the Newswire, they have no idea that the Dinka Jester Classic even exists, so they're not missing out on anything right now. The only reason we're missing out on stuff is because we know it's available by looking into the in-game files. So the majority of Rockstar's player base doesn't even know this vehicle even exists, which gives them the perfect opportunity to just not release it in this update and have it come out in the next one. So that's exactly what I think Rockstar is going to do here. They are going to release the Dinka Jester Classic in another update, or it might be scrapped altogether. Now, that would be really shocking because I still think this is one of the most fan favorite requested vehicles of all time. And I think that would upset a lot of people if they ended up just not releasing it at all. So I think we are going to see it in another update. I don't know when that's going to be. I don't know how long away that's going to be. But I think it's going to be a completely revamped version of this car. It might be under a new brand. It might be in the sports category. I'm sure it will have new customization and all the fixes that you know were in this update. So I think that's actually going to be pretty cool. So that right there is the mystery of the Dinka Jester Classic, why it has not been released in Grand Theft Auto Online, and when it will likely be released uh, probably in the next update or never, which would certainly be interesting. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you like what Rockstar is doing? Uh, do you wish they would just release the Dinka Jester Classic? Or do you want them to wait a little bit longer, have it come out in a future update with new fixes and more? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this whole situation down there and more. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.